Hi guys, this is Radio Imaginaria and today we are in a theatre, as you can see, in Manzoni Auditorium in Bologna with uh, Oksana. She's a musician and she is the music director of uh, uh, Teatro Comunale of Bologna and she founded also uh, an orchestra made by uh, like teenagers. It is called the uh, Youth Symphony Orchestra of Ukraine. Thank you very much for, for coming. I am really very touched. And in my orchestra, I have founded this six years ago. And in this orchestra, I play in very young people from 14 until 22. 22 is maximum. Now we are communicated uh, together every time. And we did this big appeal to, uh, to international governments. Uh, last night was very, very difficult. Now we have fighting in Kyiv very strong. Uh, also, I asked for some videos from my, yeah. uh, from my musicians. Good morning. I want to share some thoughts on the current situation with Ukraine. I'm the member of your symphony orchestra of Ukraine. And I think it's not okay. And they all are crying, you know, and... Yeah, it is. Our next concert has to be with Berliner Philharmonica okay. and with Bundesjahr's Orchestra in Ukraine, in Odessa, but now it's not possible, possible. And everybody is saying, why? Our mission is to share Ukrainian culture with others, but not today. What can we do as teenagers? To feel the empathy of, of the world, to feel for, 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 for young people. My friends from the Kyiv Music Academy went there in the early morning to save their instruments. We spoke about diversity, we spoke about loyalty, we spoke about uh, gender equality. And, you know, this is not normal. We are European and we feel like European and we are fighting for the democracy. And we are not fighting only just for our country, we are fighting for the uh, human rights now. You know? Yes, um, I also say like, it's not Russians, it's Putin, because it is really. They ask us to uh, to take some moves, like to stop him, but we also, we don't know how to stop him. I don't think anyone really uh, knows how to. Thank you, Italy, thank you, Bologna, thank you to everyone who is not very much now in the Ukraine. And so please take care, pray for Ukraine, help us any way you can.